Hi, my name is Dr. Brad McDonald and welcome to Claiborne Dental Center. Our group of dentists, specialists, including our orthodontists, have been serving the Abbotsford area for over 25 years. We prepared a series of videos about your dental health and I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about wisdom teeth today. Wisdom teeth come in in the late teens, early 20s, and uh, some, sometimes they don't come in, sometimes they all come in, sometimes some of them come in, sometimes they half come in. Um, I'm going to give you a little idea about what to do about each of those scenarios. Now, uh, for the lucky people uh, that don't have them, they don't even have to worry about anything, but uh, most people do have them come in. Um, if they come in fully and they're able to come in with no problems and no no tilting or anything like that, uh, not impinging on anything else, not difficult to clean, then those lucky people get to keep the wisdom teeth and have no problem. That's not a lot of people, unfortunately. Uh, most people, they will they will end up uh, either staying buried or coming half in. And once they're half in and tilted, what can happen is the gums can grow over top of them, and then food is constantly getting stuck in between the gums and the tooth, and causing abscesses and pain and foul breath. And usually, people want those out um, because they're the, the discomfort and the the odor coming out of those. So, um, the the other the other the other thing is sometimes they don't come in at all. They'll stay buried. Um, many times that's okay. But keep in mind, as they're buried, sometimes things can grow around them. Sometimes you can end up getting uh, cysts growing off them that uh, need to be taken out later. And one important thing to remember is it is easier to get these things taken out uh, when somebody's young rather than when they're older. There's more risks involved and they're, they're tougher to get out because the, the bones end up getting denser and the teeth are more formed and joined up with the bone. So it's a lot easier to get them done in their teens. So even with some of those, it might not be a bad idea to get those out, but you always have to weigh the risks and the benefits. Sometimes, if they're close to vital structures, your dentist or oral surgeon may recommend leaving them well enough alone. Um, but that's a, that's a decision that needs to be made between you and your dentist or you and your oral surgeon. Um, many times, many times, um, a general dentist is able to handle these, these extractions, but you'll find if the case becomes a little more difficult, uh, he'll, refer, he'll refer off to an oral surgeon and let them take care of it, possibly putting the patient asleep if they, if they so choose. As well, uh, a patient might be nervous as well, and that, uh, that may be an indication to be sent off to an oral surgeon, oral surgeon as well, because they are the people who can put you asleep uh, to, to get these done. Please keep in mind that these videos are for informational purposes only. For specific dental issues, please call your local dental clinic. Thank you for watching. We'd like to email the link to the entire dental health series. Just show us where to send that in this form over here on the right.